My wife and I have been trying to book a campsite for camping in 2020 in BC during the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, I'm sure as many other people have found, it's extremely difficult. And there's some things about the website that uh, might not be easy to understand how it's working, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just gonna quickly do a quick walkthrough on how to use the site and how to um, have the best chance of actually booking an actual campsite to use. So first of all, uh, everything is booking two months in advance. So today is June 3rd. Um, so today you would have been able to book a campsite for August 3rd. Um, now the thing is, is that what you need to do is the day before you're hoping to book a campsite, you need to kind of figure out what is going to be available. So let's just take um, Shuswaf Lake for an example. So you do your search and you do your start date. Now it's June 3rd today, so that means August 3rd would be the earliest. The thing is, is that it's already 7.45ish and pretty much everything will be gone. But we're gonna look at tomorrow. So I'm going to say, sorry, tomorrow's gonna to be June 4th. So we're actually gonna go August 4th. Okay, so even though we cannot actually book that right now, we're just gonna look at it. Now stay, doesn't really matter how much you say is. Now this optional area, I would just leave that. So this is the Shuswap Lake area. These are the campgrounds available. Now, even though it shows that we can click to reserve things, the thing is, is that um, it's not available to actually reserve until tomorrow. But again, we can use this to kind of plan our attack. So let's go South Campground. We're just gonna click on reserve. And over on the left side, once it loads, is shows all of the sites and all of these green boxes with a slash. Now if you hover over them, it shows is available and is available. You look over this one and it says it's available. So even though it all shows, it says it's available, it's actually not right now. Now at the top right here is a legend. You can click on that and it shows not available due to future booking restrictions. So none of this is available because we cannot book that day until tomorrow. So again, today is June, uh, June 3rd. We have to wait till June 4th till we can book any of this. But if we look at this map, notice how there are some that are green. Well, that green means that those sites are going to be available tomorrow morning. So right now, if I click on it, I can actually look at the info for that site. I can look at a picture of it some information, right? It shows length, et cetera, et cetera. So this, all of this is going to be, or these green dots, right? You know, 232, 233, 234, those are going to become available at 7 a.m. on June 4th. All of the red ones will still be booked tomorrow. So you can use this to basically figure out which sites you're going to want to try to take tomorrow. I would recommend trying to figure out, you know, get three, have three kind of written down for, so that when you go to book tomorrow, you can. Now, on the 4th, so on June 4th at 6.45, I would log on to this site. I would figure out um, which actual site you're most interested in, and then, kind of make sure that it logs on. Then at about 6.55, you need to click on the site that you want and click on reserve unit. Now, it's going to come up with something saying that you cannot, there you go, your selection is not permitted because it's right now it's not. And at that time, at 6.55, it will give you that same thing. Don't worry about it. Just come to this point here make sure everything is in correctly, make sure you have the number of adults and children or whatever, okay, have all of that ready. And at the bottom, you can say, I agree. And at exactly seven o'clock, you click 
reserve unit. So at seven o'clock, you click reserve unit. Oh, gotta fill everything in. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, bad length. Oh, only one tent. Oh, vehicle length. Dupe. There we go. Okay. So again, it's going to come up with that you can't right now, but basically you get to this point, you fill everything in, you have it ready so that at exactly seven o'clock you click reserve unit and hopefully it works. Now, another thing is that I would recommend doing is if you have two people in your household that can try to reserve, so let's say yourself and your wife, um, both of you make an account both of you log in and both of you try to get a unit. Maybe one person try to get unit your top choice and somebody try to get your second choice unit. So if you have two people attempting to get it, then your chances are going to be a lot higher that you actually get a campsite. Um, so basically, the big thing is, is that to use the site the day before to look at what is going to be available tomorrow morning and then in the morning, log on early, select the site you want, even though it's gonna come up saying you can't book it right now, just click close, fill all of this in, okay? So fill it all in so you have all your information in there, and then at exactly seven o'clock, click reserve unit. Now what's interesting is I'm on a Windows-based product and my wife was on our Mac or iMac and the iMac was 10 seconds ahead and I waited those 10 seconds before I clicked reserve following my clock like I clicked down here and was watching the countdown and the unit that I was looking at was gone already where my wife clicked on it according to the iMac boom and it worked right away so you don't want to wait too long but you also don't want to click too early because then it's not going to work Anyways, it's very stressful times, I know. Um, so, by the way, I'm actually just going to go back here. And let's show you one more thing. Another really uh, popular one is Manning Park. So I'm going to go Manning Park. Again, we're going to look at what I could book starting tomorrow. Let's just go six days. Now, Manning Park. Some of the actual um, some of the actual uh, sites are shut down. Now, Cold Spring is open, but Lightning Lakes Large Loop is not open, and it's confusing because it says Standard Double is you can reserve it, but you can't. If you look at Show Next Available Dates, there is no more availability. That site or that place is completely closed. Um, where places like Mule Deer and Cold Spring are open. So even though it shows that some of it is available right here, it's actually not. And you, you can't reserve anything. There's no, it's a standard double, you know, the exclamation point, but you cannot click anything there. Now, Cold Spring, though, is available or is at least open. So I'm actually just going to... Let's change that. There we go. So again, we're going to look and we're going to try to see exactly what we could book tomorrow. Again, all the red is taken. The only things that will be available tomorrow are these green colors. And orange means that they are they're walk-in only. Um, so anyways, look in tomorrow. Oh, 39 would be available starting tomorrow. And tomorrow at 6.55, you get to this point, reserve unit, close, fill in all your information, and then exactly 7 o'clock, reserve unit, and then cross your fingers and pray that you get it. So anyways, I hope this makes sense on like kind of how to strategically try to get a reservation. Um, I know, like I said, it's been very difficult and stressful, but I hope this all makes sense on um, how to do it. And I hope that you are able to actually get a site for the summer.
All right. Happy camping.